Hey, what is up, everyone? This is the Safari Gamer, and today I am going to give you a quick uh, tutorial or give you the basics of rail in Voxel Tycoon, just to make sure that you guys can build an effective rail line um, and basically make that money. So, before we begin, actually, and speaking of money, if this is a first, if like you're just starting your campaign, do not build rail. I would recommend. Um, getting your ground transportation up and running and kind of maximizing the profits on that before you build rail because um, rail is expensive uh, just to build a train alone with one cart is like 100,000 and then you have to add like minimum two stations, a depot, the train tracks that's ranging between 100 to 200k so it's, it's pretty expensive so definitely build your ground transportation but because you guys are all ready for the next um, upgrade uh, moving on to rail that that's why you're here we're gonna begin so this is your dashboard and um, rail is this icon so you select it you'll have five different icons as well so first one is lay rails this is basically laying your tracks next is the stations and um, I'm going to talk a lot about this one next, uh, but before we do that, um, we're just going to go over the next three, which are depots. Depots is where you can buy your trains and uh, additional carts that attach to it. Signals is for uh, making sure that your trains don't crash, especially if there's more than one train and more than one intersection. And then electrification is when you do further research and you get electric rails. Um, I'm not going to really talk about this uh, just because this is kind of uh, the next level up. We'll kind of add a part two to this and we can discuss that later on. So first things first, um, don't start off with laying your tracks because you want to start off with uh, building your station. So first click stations and then you have these three options. Um, so first one's freight station. So you select that and you can see that there's a circle around the station and basically this means that anything within this area um, will provide, provide it or will have access to the station. So as you can see this building here, as I move the station closer it turns yellow so my coal is now connected to my freight station if I was to select it here. So I build one there and then I'll build another one here and then I connect the, the stations together um, but next is the pa passenger stations so this is a good option especially as you can connect um, different cities and this will generate money for you because the passengers will be moving to and from the city so you do generate money from this as well um, so you can select it and then you'll see the option of platform length and number of platforms. The standard length is 65 meters, but you can increase this. It gets more expensive as you increase it and you can decrease it. And you can see the price also goes down because it's um, smaller platforms. So the only advantage of having longer platforms is if you have big trains with multiple carts, it's easy to offload and unload um, your freight or your passengers and it'll be quicker. But when you're starting off, you're not going to have really a big train uh, just because you're not going to have that much money. So I'd recommend building a smaller station. You can also increase the number of platforms. It goes up to a maximum of eight. Um, but for this example, I'll probably build two platforms. And again, you can see as I move the platform around, more houses get um, under the, their area and they turn yellow. So those are the houses you can serve um, for your transportation. So I'll build my first station here. And note that, you know, I'm going to connect it this way, but this side, I don't need to do a loop for the train to like turn around or anything because it will automatically turn around at the station. So don't worry about that. So I built my first station. I want to build the second. So this is like a good area here. So now I have two stations and then I'll connect the rail line. So 
we can do this, this, and then I guess I can build it. And do that probably. That's probably easier. And then I can build the second line. Connect it here. And then we can connect the second line, the second line here. Okay, perfect. So now we have the two lines established. You could do whatever design you want. You don't have to copy me with connecting the two, the two lines, but I'm gonna just do this for now to show you the signals and how they work. But before I even do signals, I want to add a depot. So first things first, you select the depot and then you can click R to rotate it, whichever way you want it. So I can build my first one here and then we can go come down and then connect it here and then didn't mean to do that, but connect it here as well. So now my depot is connected and now you can purchase your first train. So you select the depot. You select buy, and then you have all these options. So the first two are the, the ones in green are the powered ones, but you can uncheck that as well. Um, so right now I only have C17 and the class O or the class zero, and they're both steam engines. And the way you can find out is by selecting here or hovering above it. Eventually you can upgrade with research to diesel powered and then electric powered. And you can see this one has a higher speed, it has more power and it can carry more weight. And then you have the passenger car for passengers, which we'll be using in this case. And then for freight, you have these options. So open car carries more iron and coal than the platform car. And then the state cars for your timber. So when you're ready to buy a train, first select the engine. So I'll do the cheaper option. And then you click on the plus button to add like extra cars. So I can add um, my first passenger car. And you can see here it's 100,000 basically to buy it. So purchase. And then it'll be placed in your depot. So you click on the train. And then you want to add a, the first stop. So you click add stop. And then you select the yellow station. Click on transfer. This will be a good option for our passengers. So you want to do transfer. Don't select full and uh, for unload and load because what that means if you select full and full will mean the train will come. When it gets to the station, it'll wait till everyone is unloaded and then it'll wait for everyone to load. And right now the car is 14 passengers. So it's going to wait till 14 passengers load in before it goes to the next station. And you might not have 14 passengers to start off with. So it'll be waiting for a while. So don't, don't check it off. And then you want to add another stop. Select on the second stop. Do the same thing. Leave it unchecked. Save as. You can name it whatever. Click OK. And then you can release the train by selecting that option. And you can see the train will come out of the depot. Now, if you select on the train and you select on this eye, take a ride, you can actually take a ride on the train, which is pretty cool. And you can click on space to blow the horn. And then up here, it'll give you the speed of the train. It'll tell you what it's doing. So it was unloading, now it's loading. And now it'll be turning around. So once it goes to the end, it'll turn around and it'll be on its way. So yeah, pretty cool. And then in terms of stats, so like if you click on the station, right now, Elizabeth City can have six passengers available to kind of go on to the next station. Uh, right, And then once the train will uh, stop, then it'll we'll see that these numbers should change, hopefully. Yep, you see, so it had two passengers, three passengers. I earned that much money. And um, 
that's the running cost. So I'm making a profit right now, which is good. And then if you click on logistics, you can see all the houses that are connected with this, this particular station. You can do the same for the other stations as well. You can see. So that's that. Um, so once you have one train and it's about to get full, you can add another train. But before you do that, you want to add signals. So signals basically help uh, the train know not to proceed if there's another train like already on the track. So for example, this train is going to come this way. Let's say I built the signal this way. Firstly, if I build one signal, it means it's one way. And you see, now the train is going to be lost because this is the back side of the train, the signal. So right now the train shouldn't be going this way. It should be actually be coming towards us. So that's why it's, it's like I'm lost because I shouldn't be going that way. So if I build another, another signal, now it's a two-way signal. So now the train can actually go and it can come back. So I'm going to build another signal here and here and another signal there. And I should build another signal also here. Anywhere there's an intersection is a good place to build uh, the signal. So you can see it's turned red. So now if another train was to come, it wouldn't go further because, you know, this area is like all taken. All right, so next we want to build another train to show how this works. So we're going to buy another locomotive, we'll add a cart, buy, and then we kind of add the stops like we did. So we add that, and then we add, sorry, we add another stop. Save as, okay, unleash it or release it. All right. So now we have two trains running and we'll see how they go. See, now they're automatically going on their separate uh, ways. Actually, I should pause it right there because I should have another signal on this track. Because if, for example, the train went here, then when it's coming out, it shouldn't um, get confused. So we can add the signal right there. Perfect. And then we can add, we should add a signal here as well. Because if it's coming here, it should stop. So, okay. That should work. You see, it stopped and let the other train come through. So that's the importance of signals. It just kind of um, lets the trains know that there is another train um, coming across. And you can see that the signals kind of change automatically. So yeah, that's a quick uh, tutorial on how to build trains and get them running and make money so you can see uh, right now i'm making a loss because i kind of just did this for the tutorial but by passenger transportation last month i made 700 dollars from this small trade small train line if you guys have any questions um, leave it in the comment section also you know with the trains um, when you click on the lay rails, you can build bridges and tunnels. I already did a quick tutorial for that. So I'll leave that in the description box for you guys to have a look. If you guys are confused on how to build bridges and tunnels. So I did that for both roads and rail. So give that a, a look if you're confused and give this video a like and please subscribe if you're interested. And thank you guys for your time and have a great rest of the day. Peace.